you throwing her here with uh, Helix Junior standout, uh, Ty Joseph, 1557-2, uh, winner of the Division II Invitational Race, uh, just showing as much confidence as a guy in third place could have, yeah. you know, uh, going by the tennis courts and, and getting ready to go up uh, Opus Hill again. Yeah. So can you put words to the, because the body language just yeah. looked like I'm in total control of this race, even though I'm looking at two guys in front of me. Yeah, um, I think my, my confidence, it comes from the Lord. So I, I really just laid my heart out to him and I was like, Lord, I, I feel bad. I was sick earlier this week. Lord, allow me to push, allow me to glorify you through my running. So that's, yeah. I was talking with uh, Ari Lorenz from Francis Parker about yeah. like a lot of those similar things because yeah. you know, she's had you know, a, long, a long bout of illness and, you know, and, and coming back and sometimes it's just like, you know, whatever, you know, Tyus Joseph's plan is or whatever Ari Lorenz's plan is, it's like, yeah. just yeah. turn it over to the Lord, right? Yeah. Like just, uh, just, you know, generate all the, all the strength, you know, and, and all the, you know, all the inspiration that you can. Yeah. So was that something that you were being really mindful of, not only on the starting line time, but, uh, but, but throughout the race as well? Yeah, I thought it was a really sweet race. Uh, yeah, like you were saying, I was really mindful of that constantly. I, I was at the start line just smiling. Um, I, I missed my first race because I had a hospital scare. So I was, this race was, it's been built up to, and I was like, oh, I got to do really well. I have all these expectations. I have friends running. But I just, I, yeah, like I said earlier, I lifted it up to the Lord. And uh, yeah, I was just mindful that my strength and my effort comes from Him. So. Well, I mean, obviously, we still have the blessing of watching you the rest of this cross country season yeah. track and, a, you know, Lord willing, another full year yeah. uh, representing Helix on top of that. But when you do have moments like this, especially because of the recent health scare, like, yeah. it, you know, I mean, I know you always appreciate them, but like, but is it just amplified? Like, oh, it's so much sweeter. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was worried that I wasn't going to run the season and then I missed our first big race and then I missed practices. So I, yeah, I mean, it, it's, I'm so glad to just be able to run. Winning and running hard and getting a PR, that's fun, but I was just excited to be out here running and competing. So. And with your guys, man. Yeah, uh, exactly. In, in terms of like, you know, in this early part, right, especially you know, uh, you know, coming back from, you know, from such a, a challenge and an obstacle and yeah. sort of a very real life uh, circumstance, are, are you giving yourself like more grace and, 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 and more patience to be like, look, we're still only in, in September. Uh, maybe you've missed a couple opportunities. But there's still a lot of great ones in front of you. Obviously, the biggest one being back here in November. Yeah. You know, so I mean, are you just you know really trusting in the process, trusting in the Lord, and just being patient? Yeah, I would say 100%. I think um, when I originally got in the hospital and missed all the practices and had this scare about the tumor and all of that, it was um, in my first thought was I just got to push. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Um, and then my coach. My parents have had really good input, just like, no, this is the start of the season, you missed one race. So I thought, yeah, I, I think I had to just kind of trust the process and be like, it might be a slow season, it might not be what I want it to be, but it's all I can do. So. What is most encouraging? I mean, the fact that you're walking away with a smile, the fact that you're walking away healthy, uh, the fact that you're know, surrounded by great coach, teammates, yeah. you know, friends and family, but you know, from the specific aspect of the race, I mean, especially you know, the way that you attacked uh, the hill, the way that you that you executed the, uh, the last mile. What are you walking away, uh, you know, encouraged about, you know, in terms of the the tactical or strategic aspect of the race? Yeah, I think I'm walking away with. Um, well, we coach did a phenomenal job of uh, coaching us this week with rest in mind and recovery. And I think in my previous seasons, I've really struggled to recover well. Um, and to really like, put effort into sleep and food and diet and pace and all that. So I think just really uh, trusting my coach, trusting what he has to say, and then yeah, really just focusing on recovery. Um, I don't think I would have been able to be here um, running the time I did. Um, if I didn't recover well this week, and if I didn't take time after being injured and being sick. Uh, so yeah, I think just recovery, that's my big takeaway from this one. Awesome, man. Uh, well, so inspiring, uh, and obviously uh, we hope there's uh, more where that came from, more, uh, more, uh, more consistency, uh, and certainly uh, keep stacking those uh, those meaningful moments uh, to be able to, uh, to get the results uh, that, that you know, you uh, desire and, and obviously that the Lord hopefully blesses you with in yes. uh, the postseason. Again, 15-57-2, winner of the Division II Invitational Race, the 44th ASICS Clovis Invitational. Ty, congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much.